There's a little secret that you may not know. History is not linear. People think that women's rights are in a constant state of moving forward. Well, unfortunately, that's not always been the case. And now we're in danger of moving backwards. They don't believe in equal pay. Ryan and Romney voted against the Paycheck Fairness Act. And Ryan even voted against the Lilly Ledbetter Act. Of course, you can see that folks like Romney have a lot to lose if they're denied access to women's cheap labor. But then again, they can always continue getting it from China, like he so beautifully stated in this video. Are you kidding? 1,100 provisions restricting women's reproductive rights in 2011 alone? And 944 in just the first quarter of 2012? 2011 and 2012 have been very bad years for women's reproductive rights. Not only are they trying to make it harder to get abortions, they're even trying to legalize abortions even in the case of rape, incest, and even when the mother's health is in danger. I mean, have you ever heard of fetal personhood bills? <coughs> My cough not full, it stopped being real. They want to redefine rape. You might have thought Todd Aiken's words were coming out of nowhere, but that's not true. Mr. Smiles is also a participant in this ideology. And so is Mr. Some Girls Rape Easy, Roger Rivard, state representative of Wisconsin. Wait a minute, so they don't want to pass the Violence Against Women Act because it protects LGBTQ native women and immigrant women? Yes, you thought that protecting women from sexual and domestic violence was a given, right? Well, it certainly was a bipartisan issue in 1994, but it's not anymore. Today, Republicans can't stand the idea that the new Violence Against Women Act would be used to protect LGBTQ folks native women, or immigrant women. Well, you may want to know that some of the people involved in the rejection of the new act are also involved in the mail order bride business. Because if you can't say that the rape is illegitimate, at least you can say that she doesn't have the legal rights as a citizen to report it. So please, don't vote Republican this election. Don't vote Republican this election. Because for the love of women and equality everywhere, we need to stand up to misogyny. We need to stand up to misogyny. Because I ain't going backwards, baby.